last time on Dragon Ball Z. It is now the 5 years time skip before Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. Gohan is so accustomed to training that he continues his training during this period of time. Fidel also gets in on some of this training as well and actually gets some considerable gains. Meanwhile, the 5 years have passed by. Goku fights Beerus on the Supreme Kai land. However, no matter how many forms Goku unleashes on Beerus, Beerus relentlessly beats him down. Now, we move on to Bulma's birthday party on the cruise ship. Whis revives Goku, and together, they do the ritual on Gohan. Gohan becomes a Super Saiyan God and faces off against Beerus. However, ultimately, he still loses. Afterwards, Goku and Vegeta go on to Beerus' planet to train. Meanwhile, Piccolo and Gohan stay on Earth to continue their training. Now, we are in the revival of Frieza Saga. Gohan and Piccolo are just training, and suddenly a ship flies right over them. They feel a sinister yet familiar key on top of the ship. They knew it was Frieza. And now, let the what if begin. <laughs> So, Frieza's army embarks on the wasteland, and the Z fighters actually take care of them pretty easily. Videl even joins in this time, and she actually does some considerable work. However, now that Frieza's army is finished, Gohan faces off against Frieza. Gohan lunges straight towards Frieza, knocking Frieza far, far away. And Frieza realizes that in his first form, he's no match for Gohan. So he transforms into his final form. However, even in his final form, Gohan still outmatches Frieza. So Frieza powers up into his golden form. Now Gohan realizes that he has to take things seriously as well. Gohan powers up into his ultimate form. And Frieza it just laughs because Gohan doesn't do any different. He just looks the same. But Gohan's power is immense. Gohan rushes straight towards Frieza, knocking him down. Afterwards, he appears right below Frieza, knocking him back up. Afterwards, he finishes him off with a Kamehameha. He knew how dangerous Frieza was and just went all out from the start. He did not want to make the same mistake he did with Cell. So Goku and Vegeta don't get to use their godly powers against Frieza this time because Gohan took care of it all. So they, uh, just, they just continue training on Beerus' planet. Now we move on to the Universe 6 tournament between Beerus and Champa. So who are the 5 members? Obviously, Goku and Vegeta will be the first two members. Piccolo also joins in as well. And we know Majin Buu was completely eradicated. So Majin Buu isn't one of the participants here. Monaka still remains one of the participants. Now, and the fifth and final member is actually Gohan. Gohan has been training and wants to test out his full strength against contestants from another universe. I mean, to him, it was intriguing. The universe theory was actually true. Anyways, let's get into the tournament. Piccolo is the first fighter because Beerus' tactic is to send out the worst fighters first. So Piccolo faces off against Botamo. He easily defeats Botamo, followed by Frost. Piccolo also easily takes care of Frost. Keep in, keep in mind that Piccolo here actually has the ultimate form and therefore is much stronger than the Piccolo we know in the original canon of events. Then after that, Piccolo faces off against Megata. This fight was kinda tough, but Piccolo found out Megata's weakness and just hurled a few insults at Megata, causing Megata to lose and fall out of the ring. Next up, he faces off against Kaba. However, this time, Kaba doesn't get the Super Saiyan transformation because Piccolo doesn't know how to teach Kaba. 
I mean, they still form a pretty good student-teacher relationship. Anyways, next up, we have Piccolo vs. Hit. Hit was strong, and Piccolo could tell, so Piccolo went all out immediately. However, even in his ultimate form, Hit immediately eliminates Piccolo. Piccolo has no idea what was going on. He didn't even see Hit move. Next up was Gohan. Gohan could tell what technique Kit was using. He was using the time skip. And with this knowledge, Gohan and Hit face off in the ultimate battle. Gohan goes all out and so does Hit. And the fight is so close. Well then land hits on each other and Hit even has the power up in the middle of the fight to advance his time skip all the way to one second. However, ultimately, Gohan prevails off against Hit. Gohan is the victor of this tournament. And while Goku and Vegeta are kinda bummed that they didn't get to use their new powers, well, they will have a chance to use it right now. Now, we venture off into the Goku Black Saga, or the Future Trunk Saga. A ship arrives at Capsule Corporations. And a young man was sitting inside. Who was this young man? Well, you have to find out next time on Dragon Ball Super.